Hi, I'm here at Sincere Milk Farm and I'm doing a video today on rabbit breeding. Um, I have my New Zealand white doe here and she's a proven um, experienced mother. She's given us nice litters. Um, this will be her fourth. She's given us usually a litter size between 9 and 11 which is very good. Um, New Zealand whites are production rabbits. Um, I mean people do show them obviously and uh, they, I, I know people use them for pets but their primary purpose um, of the breed is for meat production and we sell most of our babies um, as breeders however we do keep ones back for our table um, and in the future I'm going to do a, a video uh, on butchering so um, you can check that out uh, it'll probably be it'll be a few months from now um, when I have some that are ready to go but anyway um, a few things before I breed her I wanted to say what uh, you always bring the doe to the buck's cage you never bring the buck to the doe's cage um, because for two reasons um, if you have a real aggressive female a lot of times they can cause injury to the buck my females aren't very aggressive but there are some that will attack the male if they're on their territory and the other reason which is the primary reason that I do it is because males have a tendency to be very nosy and if you put them in the females cage instead of going to breed with them um, like you'll see in a minute that a lot of times they wind up sniffing around the cage and doing everything but breeding with the female um, so I just found it easier I've, I've read it about it and it seems like most people do it this way um, and I, that's the way I found works the best um, rabbits are induced ovulators meaning I can pretty much breed her every time there's a um, a period of time between late fall probably to early spring where um, they won't the females won't lift for the males um, and it's it's due to the daylight hours I, I believe they need um, t to get a good breeding usually a minimum of 12 to 14 daylight hours is best um, it's not quite I don't think it's quite that here we're at the end of March here um, however my females are just some of them haven't been willing to breed um, but several of them already have so but other than that when you put the female in the male's cage and they breed um, it's then that she'll release her eggs so she doesn't they don't have heat cycles like a dog or a cat so you don't have anything you really need to watch for um, you just I just put them in if they don't breed within a few minutes I take them out and I'll try it again another day um, but most of the time we don't have any issues uh, sometimes if you have a first-time mother and she's a little bit shy um, you you probably will want to pair her up with a more aggressive buck because she may be more reluctant to uh, breed um, but it's not because she isn't fertile at that point it's just because she's inexperienced so um, I always try to pair them with the more experienced buck then same with the bucks sometimes the, the less experienced bucks won't be aggressive enough to breed the females so it, it takes some time it's best to put uh, the inexperienced one with an experienced one um, so I'm gonna go ahead now and breed her I'm gonna grab her here she's on top of his cage and hear that noise she's making that's actually a good sign I found when they make that noise a lot of times um, it means that they actually want to be bred um, and uh, a lot of times when they're pregnant you can pet them and everything and they won't make that noise um, or you know when when they've just given birth um, but when they're ready to breed I, I, I can hear that I often hear that in my females um, so I'm gonna put her in with him he looks like he's ready too so oh let's see how he's chasing her around here oh oh no not in there <laughs> I may have to kick her out of there let me just push her back out where you can see her Go ahead. Now he's gonna, he's going to see how she lifted right away and that fall off. That's what you want to look for is that fall off. Um, that's a good sign of a successful breeding. Now he's thumping him, his feet. So that's pretty much it. And then a rabbit gestation is 31 days. Um, and, uh, and you have an, I usually put the litter box in at day 28 or 29 just to be sure, sure that and sometimes rabbits can go up to day 30 I've had them go up to like day 33 or day 34 um, but 
Um, palpita palpating rabbits is another topic. Uh, there's really no way to do a good video on it, but it's just feeling for the babies. And I usually do that around day 14. And then if she's not pregnant for whatever reason, then I, I'll rebreed her around day 14. But that's it. So we're hopefully going to have a nice litter of New Zealand Whites in about 31 days. This is Andrea signing off.